Okay, in this lesson, we're going to look at special types of horizontal or vertical lines. So special lines. So let's look at the first one. So in this question, here's the line uh, indicated with arrows on the end. So what I'm going to do is just pick some coordinates on this line. So if I pick, let's say, this point, this point here is at x is 21, y is 0. This point here is x is 21, y is 6. This point here, x is 21, y is 12. This point here, x is 21, y is 18. So what do we notice about each point? So what is the same about each point on the line. Well, I noticed that every point has an x value of 21. So every single point on this line has an x coordinate of 21. So every single point on the line, the x never changes. the y values change. So as we go up and down the line, the y value changes. So the equation of this line has an equation of x equals 21. It is a special type of line. It is a vertical line. And let's look at the rate of change of this line. So remember, rate of change is how is the y changing compared to how is the x changing. So the y value is changing, but the x is not. So the y value is changing as I go from point to point, but the x stays the same. So the x value is 0. I could use two points. For example, let's use pick two points. So let's say I pick the point 21. 6 and 21, 12. Those two points are two points I know are on that line. So if I looked at the difference in the y's and the difference in the x's, I will notice that the y difference in the y, it's going up by 6. The difference in the x is 0. So what that gives us is a rate of change that is undefined. Remember that we can't divide by 0. When we divide by 0, it gives us an error or an undefined answer. So a vertical line has a special type of equation where the x stays the same, it's always the same, and the rate of change would be undefined. If I look at this line, so we'll do the same thing here. Let's pick some points on this line. So this point is 0, 4. This point is 3, 4. This point here is 6, 4. So what is the same about each point? So in these points, I can see that the x values stay the same. So the x values, sorry, that's the x, the y. The y values are always the same. In every single point, y is 4. What is, and I notice it is also a horizontal line. So what is the rate of change of this horizontal line? So again, we'll look at delta y over delta x. How is the x changing compared to the y? So in this case, since the x changes but the y doesn't, the y changes by 0 because it's the same. The x changes. This gives us a rate of change of 0 because 0 divided by any number is 0. So for example, let's pick two points. Uh, I'm going to pick the point 0, 4, and another point on that line is 3, 4. 
and we'll do the difference in the y's divided by the difference in the x's. So it's going to be 4 minus 4 over 3 minus 0. So that's 0 over 3, which is 0. So special lines are horizontal lines and vertical lines. In a vertical line, the x will always stay the same and the y will be different. In a horizontal line, the y will always stay the same and the x will be different. So in these examples, which one is horizontal or which one is vertical? y equals 7 means that y is always 7, which makes it a horizontal line. y will always be 7. Every x will be different x equals 8 is a vertical line because x is always 8 but y is different. y equals negative 5 is a horizontal line. So anything that starts with y equals is horizontal. So it's going to be a horizontal line. All of these points are going to have a y value of negative 5. x equals 0. Anything that starts with x is a vertical line, y equals is a horizontal line, and x equals is a vertical line. So let's look at y equals 7 specifically. If I have an equation y equals 7, if I'm going to draw that, I'm going to find 7 on the y-axis, and then every point on that line is 7. If I have the line x equals negative 9, I'm going to find negative 9 on the x-axis, and every point on that line equals negative 9. So let's draw x equals 8. So I'm going to draw my grid. I'm going to find 8 on the x-axis, and then every point Let's move this to the right a little bit. Every point on that line has a value of 8. If I want to draw y equals 2, I'm going to draw a grid. I'm going to find 2 on the y-axis. Every point on that line has a value of 2. So these are special types of lines. Uh, they create horizontal and vertical lines. So if it starts with x equals, it is a horizontal or a vertical line. If it starts with y equals, it is a horizontal line.